more acres, more supply, more supply, uh, lower prices. So uh, if we can assume more acres, if we can assume that we're going to have some sort of a normal crop, not a, not a crop disaster of any sort, or Lord help us, we get in our record crop, we're going to have lower prices. I know that there are analysts out there, uh, well, just to put it in perspective today, new crop soybean prices in eastern South Dakota, new crop, are probably low $9 uh, bid right now. Uh, there are people thinking that that could have a, it could be two or three dollars lower in the worst case scenario, and uh, worst case scenarios are something else. So and, and I can't tell you it can't happen. Dicamba uh, tolerant soybeans really fit well into a lot of uh, farmers cropping program, especially in South Dakota, because we have a lot of troublesome weeds like uh, mare's tail, um, common water hemp, uh, kochia, and very troublesome weeds that we've been having a hard time controlling because of the glyphosate resistance in there. So a lot of guys are putting that tool in the toolbox to kind of control some of the resistant issues you have and actually get another mode of action into a soybean um, management program. So tips for managing white mold. So this disease is quite serious and for some producers you can get up to 30% yield loss uh, because of uh, this disease. Uh, likely for white mold we know specific conditions that lead uh, to its development. Uh, if you've had it in the past, if you're uh, planting a susceptible cultivar, um, if you are uh, having a high fertility environment, you could see white mold develop. So really the best tip is start with uh, the, uh, a cultivar that is uh, tolerant to white mold. So seed companies do provide the rating of uh, cultivars uh, for white mold. So you want to use a cultivar that really has good rating against white mold.